Guys, oh my god, I'm in love with this game. Shadow of the Death is a top-down action roguelike. Guys, seriously, if you like such games, you should try it out. Let's go, guys. I've played a bit. I've got some talents, some runes. Basically, you can unlock all that stuff, all that good stuff. Let's actually remove all of these. Talents I won't be buying yet. I, I want you to see me play without much unlock. So we're going to go with Arthur. This is your starting character. He's the son of a blacksmith. Puts on his father's armor to fight against the monsters that killed his father. Let's go. He's got what? Decent damage, decent agility, no range, I think. And he's kind of tankish. Tankish. And he's got a sword and shield. We're on normal. This is like my fifth time playing. Let's go. And guys, oh my god, oh my god, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Hopefully you love it too. Basically, you can dodge. You can hit. You can get skills, man. You can get upgrades and skills. You can get different weapons. Let's pick up some mana. Basically, mana you can recover by hitting the enemies. So we're fine. This guy, his secondary ability, let's say, is a, a block. A block. And you can parry enemy attacks if you do it correctly. Like that. Yeah. Nice. And if you pick up skills, you might upgrade your parry. For example, it can give you different effects and yeah it's gonna be cool guys it's gonna be cool honestly i don't like parrying i just like you know me if you, if you watch my robocross videos you know me i just like action man i just like to go in and put in some work all right let's see how we do it here you get those small rooms you get closed into the room and you basically cannot exit before you kill all the enemies. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So far, it's kind of easy. And you get a reward. Yeah. Dragon Heart. Each stack increases max HP by 20%. Ah! Nice. A good thing to have on tanks, I guess. Let's pick up some HP. What's that? I don't want... I want this. So, it's another sword and shield. We're currently holding a sword and shield. And basically, you can see here a different skill that each sword and shield offers. And you get some attack and some other stats. I think I'm going to go with attack and luck. I think luck, and th then we can sell this thing. The, the one we had before. I think luck makes you, like, uh, makes enemies drop more coins sometimes, maybe some good uh, potions, maybe some good stuff, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. And what I found uh, useful on this guy, Arthur, is basically if you use your dodge and then strike. Hold on a sec guys, we got a new sword and shield. Let's pick it up and see what's up. Right, a new sword and shield. It's level 2. It's freaking amazing. We get our attack is, is increased by 3, mana by 5, and luck by another 5, which is amazing. But then our ability changes. Now we had the ability of unflinching, which makes us immune to all damage for 1 second. Not too much, to be honest. But then, if we switch to this one, we get Earthquake. Raise the shields to smash the ground with all your might. And stun him nearby for 3 seconds. I'm definitely going to take that and sell the previous one. And let's try out the... Okay, hey, hold on a second. Another. Another one. Oh my god. Ouch. Let's see. Yeah, kind of cool. It's not my favorite one though. Let's see what's up with this one. Unflinching. And also you get some other like passive abilities. Let's call them passive abilities. Yes, yeah, summon a flame vortex. When executing, left click, left click, pause, left click, dealing. Let's not click, let's not click it. Let's not call it a click, let's call it hit. Hit, hit, pause, hit, dealing 100% damage with a cooldown of 5 seconds. Let's try it out. Hold on. What? Yeah, there you go. 
I actually don't like that, guys, to be honest. I know. I, I've tried it. It doesn't do much. Let's get the coin instead. Alright. Hopefully we get one with charge. And sometimes you get a skill book. Alright. Passive stun. 30% chance to stun enemies. Fortified bulwark. Blocks against ranged attacks. Consume no MP. Mana points. Fearless shield. Reduce the MP cost of blocks by... Um, I'm gonna go with the stun chance. I didn't like it. Oh, another skill book. Nice. Passive puppet. Summons a puppet to assist you in battle. That's a good one. Generates a shield when you use skills. I mean, we can go with the ultimate skill. God of War. Oh, I absolutely enjoy this. I absolutely love this one. God of War. It's freaking amazing. We're going with God of War, guys. Now, this is our ultimate skill. It needs to charge up. This is the next level, so we're not going there yet. We need to charge it up by hitting enemies. So let's proceed to do so. What's that? Another... Yeah, that's a level 1 sword and shield with the windmill. I don't want it. Maybe if it was level... Right. Is there anything else that we've missed? Nope. Nope. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money to get the heart, which you can get from the shop. <laughs> this one right here, which would be nice to have, but... But oh well, let's go. There's some potions I missed out on, but it's okay, guys. Don't you worry. We'll pick up some on the next level. Don't you freaking worry. Right. Also, you can charge up your attacks. Different characters have different charge attacks with different effects. This guy basically blocks attacks if you hold the hit button and then charges up a nice little attack like that but anyways i was gonna say something about the dodge and hit attack so if i dodge and hit he goes like a freaking lancer let's say and strikes the enemy with a launching attack like this wait 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 wait, wait. it didn't work it didn't work guys hold on hiya well something like that it didn't work for some reason it's okay though guys Oh, our ultimate ability is ready. Let's test it out in the closed rooms, in the challenge room. Let's go. Ultimate. God of War. We get attack speed. We get movement speed. It's freaking amazing, guys. It's freaking amazing. Come on, come on. Stun this guy if we can. Because he's going to hurt. Again, we can parry. I did just party there, guys. You didn't see it. Ultimate is ready again. Because we hit him like 7,000 times. Let's see what we get. Another skill book. That's amazing. Gale Shockwave. Unleash Shockwave in a straight line when attacking with full HP. That's a good one. After successful party. This is the one I was talking about upgrading your party. I don't like that. Leave a trail of flame as you move. Dealing 30% damage to enemies upon contact. That's a good one. I've never used this one or this one. I'm going to go with Gale Shockwave, guys. So we need to be on full HP. Let's make sure we're on full HP. Well, I'm kind of low right now. Hopefully we can recover. What's that? Uh, slightly worse, to be honest. A worse shield. Let's sell it. And let's pick up the potion. Sometimes there are traps. Alright, I got struck by a trap twice. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now full HP is quite far away. Quite far away. But it's okay. We'll get there eventually. Ah! Too many bombs. Too many bombs. Let's see what's up. Another sword and shield. A level 3 one with the windmill ability. An instant charge. 22% chance to instantly fully charge. Fury strikes. But is that the ultimate? That is the ultimate. Yeah, let's pick that up and sell the previous one. Wait, that's not the ultimate. What the hell is Fury Strikes? I have no idea. What's what? The Babar. Greed Might. Attack power starts to rise after you have over a thousand coins. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's get the Dragon Heart. I don't think I need to be... Ah, greedy. Ah, oh my god, I'm such a noob. Guys. Oh my god, I'm such a noob, guys. I'm such a noob. Oh my god, am I going to die on the way back? You're probably screaming at me for being a noob. 
<gasps> oh my god, I'm such a noob. I don't know, I just... Oh my god, I'm almost... I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a noob, guys. Anyways, let's see what talents we can unlock. Alright, support. Weapons of every characters will drop in dungeon. Nice, let's get it. Wire more combos. Um... That power is increased by two. I like this one. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go with this one. Okay, so we unlock combos. Cool. And we get more combos. Ooh. Hit and charge. Nice. Yeah, let's get that. You can now reload the options offered. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Yes. And then let's get some more attack power. Please? Yes. Nice. And then the runes. Let's see, guys. Every rune is, like, shaped differently. So if we go here, we got, like, three runes we can equip. Now for this one, the triangle one, we have uh, Revelation. A flash of light signals the opportunity for a pause during the execution of a pause combo. Performing a pause combo with perfect timing does 120% more damage. Damage to mobs is increased by 30%. You know what? I'm gonna go with the mob killer. Oh no, it's a plus one. Wait, we can combine the revelation and thunder slash. So we go hit, hit, pause. He deals lightning damage. What's that? The number of treasure chests is increased. We start with 50 coins. Why is this one locked? Corresponding talent is locked. Okay. I'm going to go with the revelation and thunder slash. And let's see if we can do some thunder thunder damage that should be amazing that should be amazing let's go let's go arthur again this run is going to be fantastic guys trust me trust me hopefully we don't get those trap rooms all right and i need to use the combos guys so slash slash pause hit Ooh, nice and then the new combo is hit pause charge hit no, that's not it. That's not it. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Maybe it was the combo we unlocked. Heart? We would like the heart, please. What's that? Nah, it doesn't even really matter. The shields and stuff. I, I don't think you should be buying them. I mean, you can buy them, but you'll probably get a better one from a chest or something. Right. Hit. Hit. Oh my god. Hit. Hit pause charts. Oh my god, I can't even speak, guys. So we gotta hit pause, hit pause charge. Okay, so that's the new combo. I don't really like it. I don't like the pause things, man. I do like the um, lightning strikes, though. Maybe we should be using them. I'll see. I'll see. Ooh, nice. I'll show you what's that. I'll show you what's that. This one we got from the talent we unlocked. Which basically unlocks weapons of other characters. Now this is the weapon of the ranger. And if we pick it up. We got a new skill on Q. Booyah. Noise. Oh yeah. Boost attack speed by 50% for 5 seconds upon successful block. That's a nice one. Let's pick up the heart, though. I like the HP from the hearts. Alright, let's keep on going, boys. So we go down. Uh, let's pick up the heart on the top. Uh, before we go down. I blocked it. Haha. <laughs> there are some HP potions. Which is nice, it's nice. Nice. 140 HP. We got a better chance of surviving, guys. Alright, combos, combos. Hit, hit, pause, strike. Yeah, nice. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go inside yet. I want to open this up. That's a bad one. Unless I'm still holding my starting one. Yeah, I'm still holding my starting weapon. Ooh, I like this. The dagger. Playing behind the enemy and launch an attack then 
39 damage. I'll pick this up. Yeah. Instead of the bow. Basically, we'll go like this. Ooh, that's a nice one. What's that? Less attack, more HP, and shield strike. You know what? I kind of like it, but I like the shield charge more. So we're not going to pick that up. We're going to sell it. Shield charge is this ability. Let's test it out. Very nice. Ooh, shadow strike. Haha, <laughs> no you don't. Mm, nice. Shield charge. Shadow strike. Oh my god. I mean, shadow strike is okay. -ish. It's not super duper good. Eh? Shield charge. Nice. I don't like the charged combos. Just like going ham. I'm just holding my attack button. Alright, let's see. The evade skill can now be used twice. That's a very good one, especially if you get like skills that further upgrade the evade skill. Increase max HP by two each time when you defeat an enemy with the skill. Up to 70 stacks, that's plus 140 HP. But this one, 70 puppet to 16 bottles. It's actually pretty good, guys. So I'm gonna summon that. I mean, I'm gonna choose that. There it is. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Any cool combos? Not really. We've tested them all out. Where's the music? Music is back. What's that? Nothing. Oh, that's the bus room. Not the bus room, sorry. That's the next level. Alright guys, let me get some level. Levels. And I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're on level 1. The third stage. Let's see, we gotta hit this thing. The guardian is summoned. Basically kill him. If we can. Hopefully we can, I'm, I'm a noob, though. But we're doing fine. Doing fine. Trust me. Where is that? Yeah, it didn't drop anything anyways. And let's go. This is kind of like a small prep room. Here you can upgrade your weapons, actually. You can enhance them. So let's do that. We've got a lot of diamonds. I'm not sure what they're used for. Anyways, we've uh, upgraded this one, the sword and shield to gain some more luck and attack and it also gained a party impact after a successful party stand all nearby enemies for 0 0.9 seconds that's not too much right you haven't seen this sword and shield it has shield charge agonizing energy gain 10 ultimate energy whenever you take damage noise holy sanctuary for the duration of skill cast you take 50 percent and reduce damage and are immune to interruptions noise and let's enhance the dagger which has Shadow Strike, blink behind the enemy and launch an attack, dealing 44 damage. Support Shield, gain a shield after the support skill is casted. Now that's actually pretty nice. And it gains some attack, HP and luck. Noise, then we got this, which I have no idea what it is. We need to unlock it. And then you just kind of heal up and regain some mana here. Right, this is our first boss. <laughs> I've never actually beaten him. Let's see. Let's see what we have. We have the ultimate. Can we... Can we... Can we... Yeah, like that. We got Dragonheart picked up four times, which increases our HP by 20%. Yeah, in total 80%, which is nice. We got the Puppet, summon a Puppet to assist you in battle. We got Sacrifice, which I raided once. Sacrifice a random small minion to take a hit for you with a cooldown of... 35 seconds. That's actually pretty good for bosses. We got evade, defense. These are standard skills. We got shield charge on the sword and shield. Level 2. Okay. Shadow strike. And God of War. I have graded it twice, guys. Which is amazing. God of War gives you reduced damage, gain immunity. Sorry, reduced damage taken, gain immunity to control, and increase movement speed and attack speed. And because it's upgraded twice, 
it's gonna last 15 seconds uh, that's actually amazing guys let's see now this is the first boss Marcus Iron Forge Marcus I have no idea how to call him no, oh my god all right let's use the ultimate ability he has some some nice attacks to be honest ah wait yeah shadow strike behind him if we can all right the ultimate is uh, down i believe you see by using the shadow strike i'm actually dodging attacks which is amazing which is amazing but i don't have any mana left i need to hit him a few times run away dodge that ouch and he's gonna go into his second phase soon which is not great to be honest wait it's actually not soon guys i thought i'm doing some decent damage but i'm not oh my god guys i'm probably going to die i'm probably going to die let's ultimate let's beat his oh. beat his butt yeah 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 ultimate again oh my god that's amazing that's amazing i'm dying i'm slowly dying guys i'm slowly dying but what can you do Ooh, oh my god that's a that's a freaking large area of effect guys oh my god oh my god what the hell do we do now guys i need to dodge something can i i did party oh my god i'm such a i i partied again i'm a pro guys just kidding i'm a noob can i can i party anything oh my god i'm dead i'm dead <laughs> yeah that's kind of hard guys can we unlock this oh nice acquire the rune 10 percent chance to dodge attacks nice 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 level 11 cool i'll see you at the boss again with arthur of course i'm going to equip this rune and then i i i didn't like this i don't like the charge attacks so this are two runes that are completely useless for me for me personally right we're gonna go with mob killer damage to mobs increased by 30 percent and treasure chest yeah i like this one the number of treasure chests is increased let's go and uh do you have any talents we can unlock nope 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 all right arthur again i'll see you at the first boss it's always the same boss so nothing new to show that's marcus iron forge all right let's go with you first ah oh my god yeah i lost my Ooh, he was he was stunned there for a while oh my god yeah get frozen by oh my god too much damage too much damage all right base two. Oh my god we're doing some 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 nice damage can I, no we can't freeze that far away i don't have any more mana oh my god again what the hell bro what the what the actual poop guys can i can i get close to you please please i need some mana dude all right kill this guy oh my god i missed wait so i need to kill like right next to him i don't get it guys oh my god i don't want like he's frozen guys let's go no i'm dead again marcus iron forge again he beat our butt every freaking time guys right let's try to ultimate maybe stun use the katana as much as we can ouch the katana is amazing it deals so much damage so much freaking damage but we kind of need the mana man oh yes phase two is that phase two run away and how the hell do we beat this guy now and that that is kind of kind of fine ouch no oh my god so much damage can i can i block stuff yes i can oh i'm still taking damage though which is unfortunate oh my god we're so freaking close guys we're so freaking close how do i get mana man oh that is so close no please no let's see what we can do marcus iron forge hello ah i'm such a noob yo oh my god why am i being such a noob guys 
More bombs. Yes. More bombs. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ouch. I guess I need to block. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Doing some damage, oh my god. He's phase two. Ultimate. Nice. Oh no. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, guys, we freaking kill him. I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> That's amazing. What the hell do we get? Another heart. Oh, Ooh, some diamonds. Thanks. Oh, I guess that's cool. I guess that's cool. And now we get to like level two. I've never been here before. Oh, that looks so lovely. Oh my god, they don't look uh, lovely. They look uh, quite uh, the opposite. All right, let's see. Anyways, guys, if I find anything uh, special, I'll let you know. Guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you the most OP build I've ever had. Oh, man, this thing is amazing. This thing is amazing. All right, let me show you guys. Well, the thing is, just enjoy the gameplay. And I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I get the ultimate up. Wait, I didn't get a chest? Oh, there it is. Ah, I was scared there. Skill book. Um, upon hitting an enemy with uh, with a hidden poison here and gain a shield block. Successful battery. Increase health. You know what? You know what? We're gonna take this. The thing is. Um, I think I, my HP is not being increased from Dragon Hearts anymore because I'll show you my items and as you can see I'm doing a lot of damage a lot of damage right here we go guys check this out check out this attack speed and the fireballs oh my god oh my god this is amazing this is amazing please where are the enemies this is amazing this is amazing, guys! Oh my god! Yes! Where are the freaking enemies, man? Hiding? Hiding? Ooh, what do we get? Another heart! Alright, guys, so check this out. I've got this sword and shield, which gives me Dragon Slayer. Dragon Heart no longer increases max HP, but. Each stack of 8 significantly boosts attack power by 10. So we got like 140 attack increase. Isn't that amazing? And then pain transformation recovery 10 magic points each time when taking damage. Then I've got swiftness, which increases attack speed by 18%. Then I got the ultimate god of war, which increases attack speed again. And then... I have Radiant Burst level 6, which gives 45% chance to shoot a fireball when you attack, dealing 210 damage. And then we got this bow, which gives 30% attack speed for 7 seconds after you use your support skill. Man, this is amazing. This is amazing. We are going ham on that attack speed. Ow. But yeah, anyways guys, I'll see you at the boss, I guess, because uh, this is getting way too long. Way too long. Alright guys, we're at the boss. I don't think we've been here before. Oh my god! The Valador Havoc. Man, I am such a noob, guys. What the hell? What the hell is going on? So I reset my skills and stuff like that, and now I no longer have the attack speed I was talking about. Oh my god, how many owls can we summon? But we're going ham, man. What the hell? More fireballs, please. Yes, please. Ouch. What the hell? I, I don't understand what's going on, guys. The screen is kind of shaky. Let's go. 
Let's go beat the poop out of him, man. Ultimate. Support. Oh, he's dead, man. How many owls did we have? What the hell? That's amazing. Oh my god, that's a whole army, guys. All fire damage increased to its original. 120%. That's nice. What is that? You know what? We're gonna take that. Alright, guys. I'll see you at the next boss, I guess. Oh my god, guys. This is getting ridiculous, man. Give me some more skills. More damage to stun enemies. HP. What is that? Nah. Oh no, I don't want to take damage, man. Ow! I'm such a noob with these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? My brain just. It's like it stops uh, functioning. Attack speed level 8. Yes, please. That's amazing. Je guys, check this out. I need full HP. Hold on a sec. So basically, guys, hold on a sec. Oh my god. When we're on full HP, we shoot out waves. <laughs> I know, right? And yeah, it's just. It's just way too OP, guys. I mean, look at this. Holy popa. Give me something good. Another heart. 740 HP. That's quite a lot. Wait, I missed something. Did I miss anything? Nope, nope, nope. I didn't. I didn't. Is it freaking OP or what, guys? Holy poop. I'm... My, I think my PC is lagging. I think. I'm not sure, guys. I'm <laughs> not sure. This is amazing. I'm enjoying this so much. Yeah bit the poop out of everybody by the way i i don't have many diamonds let's go to the next level i don't have many diamonds because i did all my weapons last time i thought it would read all of the last skill i gained but yeah it, it reload 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 the whole thing guys which was very unfortunate because i had a very nice build which i had to let go but anyways this is amazing too this is amazing too, guys. Oh my god, a katana? Nah. I like the freaking owls, broskies. Level 10? Oh my god. Earthquake, magic infusion, gain 8 energy to charge the ultimate skill when picking up mana potions. 25% chance to shoot 3 spikes when attacking. You know what? We're gonna take it. We're gonna freaking take it. Spikes. Who, who doesn't like spikes? Right? It's gonna be freaking amazing. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Oh yes. Oh yes. What's down here? Show me. Nope. Nothing? Nothing. What the hell? Did we come from here? I think we did come from here. Oh my god, I'm such a noob, guys. Anyways, it's my first time playing the game. Oh. No, no, no. I like the freaking owls, guys. It's only if I get any... Any kind of bow that I'm gonna change my support weapon. Ouch. Almost, almost. Almost. Almost in half. Alright, where's my ultimate? Why is my ultimate not ready? I wanna show you guys. The ultimate power of this build. I'm not even using my, my skills, just the Q skill to summon more birds. More owls. Right. I think that mini room right there, right here, will be the perfect room to use the ultimate. Hello! Hello! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, more damage, yes. Oh my god. I'm going insane. I'm like, I'm like playing in Super Saiyan mode or something. This is insanity, guys. Nope. Didn't touch me. No voice. Another skill upgrade. Can I get more attack speed? Yes, I can get more attack speed. No voice. Guys, this gets so much more fun in the late levels oh my god this is amazing but i think arthur the starting character because i tried the other guys too i think he's the best for me for my style of gameplay but we're definitely going to try the others if you like this game because i i'm i i am enjoying this game so 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 much this is amazing. Give me something good. Nice. Another skill. 
Do we change the ultimate skill? No, we don't. Reduce melee damage. Increase the charge level of fury strikes by one. Dealing 130% damage. I'm actually not sure what fury strikes is here. Guys. <laughs> I think it's this thing. But I'm not sure. Anyways. Alright guys, it's boss time. Can we upgrade the weapons? Yes, we can. Jesus, that's a lot of stuff. Earthquake, magic and fusion. Alright, we need to get a new skill. This is enhanced because I kept this from... From a long time ago, actually. We don't have this unlocked yet. We can heal up a bit. 815 HP. That's a lot, guys. That's a freaking lot. Alright, I think that's the final boss. Oh my god. Lancelot Shadow Reaper. Holy poop. Let's see how we do, guys. We need to go ultimate. Oh my god, you can't even see what I'm doing, guys. I'm basically beating the crap out of freaking Lancelot me and I think he is also stunned. Hold on a sec, guys. I think I have a stun somewhere. Where is it? Merciless Strike Deal. No, no, no. Jesus, I got a lot of stuff. Wait, what? Boost attack speed by 15% for 5 seconds after a successful block. Let's block. Did I block? I think I did block. Oh my god. Ultimate this up again. There, there are two guys now. You can't even see them, I know. It's okay. I'm just trying to survive, guys. Is he dead? One guy is dead. Ultimate up is again. He's freaking dead. Oh my god, look at the freaking owls, guys. That's it. Ooh. The traveler's final blah blah blah. As the evil soul was about to shatter completely. Whose memories emerged. Ooh, would be nice to have a character that uses scythe. Long ago, humans battled demons. Among the human army was a brave hero. Rolling day and night, climbing treacherous peaks, the hero thought the demon race alone with flesh and blah blah blah. However, the hero ultimately defeated by the demon. By the demon, oh my god, I can't even read the English, guys. He was consumed by the evil power. Transformed into the puppet of the demon king in endless agony. Since then, he has been guarding this dungeon. Oh no! Long dark nights. Devouring hearts like a deep quagmire. As the dungeon collapses, a giant gate appears. The journey is not over yet. The traveler sets foot on top of the path again. Once again. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Jesus, guys, that took a long time. One hour. That was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Oh, we got some good stuff. What's that? Acquire room. The primary skill increases by one level. Nice. Oh my god, how many levels did we get? That's it, guys. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Battle of the Dead. And yeah, that's a very nice game. I absolutely enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!